3 i Atlas is turning our entire understanding of comets upside down. Measurements have shown that this interstellar chunk ejects a strange nickel compound that we normally only encounter in industry. In fact, its nickel occurs without the usual iron, but that's not all. Its tail does not appear to point away from the sun, the ratio of CO2 to water is astonishingly high, and the dust grains scatter light in a way that has never been observed before in comets. All these strange properties make 3i Atlas an object that poses a great mystery to experts. But what is behind it? Is it an extremely rare comet that was formed under exotic conditions? Or is an unknown mechanism responsible for its unexpected characteristics? Stay tuned until the end, because today we're looking at the latest observations of 3i Atlas and explaining why it fundamentally challenges our understanding of comets. Discovered on July 1st, 3i Atlas never tires of astonishing scientists with new surprises. But what have astronomers measured now? Well, the exciting data comes from high-resolution spectral observations carried out by special observatories, such as the Very Large Telescope in Chile. In the course of this, the light from the comet was broken down into its individual colors, and this provided surprising insights into its chemical composition. The most spectacular result concerned nickel emissions. According to this, 3i Atlas constantly emits nickel into its environment, which in itself would not be unusual if it occurred together with iron, but that is apparently not the case. And that is unexpected, to say the least, because nickel and iron always occur together when comets emit gas and dust. This is because both metals were formed in the same stardust and have similar properties. They condense at almost the same temperature and are often deposited in common minerals or alloys. We can therefore imagine nickel and metal as a kind of inseparable duo that has been traveling together from the beginning and is released in unison when a comet approaches the sun. But 3i Atlas is now turning this established pattern on its head. It releases nickel, but little or no iron. Such an extreme nickel to iron ratio has not been observed in any other interstellar object to date. But what is the reason for this? Well, researchers have yet to provide a clear explanation for this. One possible approach, however, is that the nickel could be present in the form of nickel carbonyl. This is a compound that is produced industrially on Earth, but could also occur naturally under certain extremely cold conditions. It's important to emphasize, however, that this is still a pure hypothesis but one that provides a plausible solution for the unexpected nickel emission without iron. Rich in CO2 and poor in water, the unusual comet nucleus. True to the motto, one surprise rarely comes alone, 3i Atlas has left experts scratching their heads in other ways too, because its gas composition is just as unusual. Specifically, the ratio of carbon dioxide to water is around 8 to 1, which is extremely high. For comets in the solar system, it's typically between 0.1 to 1 and 1 to 1. But even with other interstellar visitors such as Comet Borisov, a CO2 to H2O ratio like that shown by 3i Atlas has not been observed. This suggests that the volatility and sublimation of gases in 3i Atlas differ from those in conventional comets. And once again, for a better understanding, Volatility describes how easily a substance transitions from a solid or liquid state to a gaseous state. Sublimation, on the other hand, refers to the direct transition from solid ice to gas without first becoming liquid. And unlike our native comets, 3i Atlas may have a nucleus rich in CO2 ice, while water is present in smaller quantities or in a more strongly bound form. Such ice deposits could, for example, be concentrated in the deeper layers of the chunk so that they are preferentially released when it flies past the sun. Another complementary possibility is that 3i Atlas originated in a star system where the temperature and chemical conditions were very different from ours. This means that when the volatile substances were captured in the comet's nucleus, a lot of CO2 could condense while water was absorbed in smaller quantities or remained more strongly bound. As a result, there is now a strikingly high proportion of CO2, far above what we are used to seeing in normal comets. In other words, 
3 Eye Atlas tells us something about the exotic conditions of its home world. But where is that actually? Unfortunately, it's not possible to say with certainty, but some scientists estimate that the object originates from the so-called thick disk of the Milky Way, a region that is home to many old stars with fewer heavy elements. Dust, light, and a tail that breaks all the rules. In addition to its unusual chemical properties, 3 Eye Atlas is also attracting attention with its tail and dust grains in a way that has completely surprised scientists. The polarization of the dust grains shows an extremely negative pattern, and what may sound quite complicated at first glance simply means that the light reflected by the dust particles behaves differently than in all known comets. As a rule, the light scattering of ordinary comets allows conclusions to be drawn about their size, shape, and composition of dust particles. The grains normally scatter sunlight in such a way that we see typical reflections and brightness patterns. In the case of 3 Eye Atlas, however, observations suggest that its dust grains are differently shaped, particularly small, or more densely packed together. This causes the light to behave differently and be strangely deflected, so to speak. This circumstance could also explain why the tail of 3 Eye Atlas looks so strange. As a general rule, a comet's tail always points away from the sun, as the solar wind pushes gas and dust outwards. But curiously, 3 Eye Atlas seems to do exactly the opposite. From our perspective, it looks as if part of its tail is pointing towards our mighty source of warmth and life. Experts refer to this phenomenon as an anti-tail. It occurs when dust particles lie along the comet's trajectory and, when viewed from Earth, form a line that appears to point toward the sun so the material is not actually actively thrown in that direction. What is particularly exciting, however, is that this anti-tail is more noticeable and distinct in 3 Eye Atlas than in most known comets. Its special dust composition and the size of the grains probably play a role here, scattering the light differently and influencing the visible shape and orientation of the tail. The same applies to the jets of CO2-rich gas. And the bottom line is that the anti-tail once again shows what a cosmic outlier is currently traveling through our home system. The Search for Answers There are two ways to approach the anomalies of 3 Eye Atlas, one rather conservative and one significantly more speculative. The natural explanation is that 3 Eye Atlas is simply a very rare but purely natural space rock that formed under unusual circumstances in a distant star system. The temperatures and chemical conditions there could therefore be fundamentally different from those in the solar system, which would explain why nickel is present without the usual iron, why the CO2 to H2O ratio is so extreme, and why the dust grains scatter light in an unexpected way. Perhaps these interstellar conditions even cause the material to change during its long journey through space. In other words, radiation, extreme temperatures, and other space influences could cause certain substances to outgas more easily, while others remain firmly in the comet's core. But now, of course, there is also the possibility that all these explanations are invalid from the outset, simply because 3 Eye Atlas is not a natural formation at all. According to researchers such as Harvard professor Avi Loeb, the object exhibits a number of anomalies that are more consistent with artificial origins. But what does that mean specifically? Are scientists seriously discussing the possibility that an extraterrestrial spacecraft is currently traveling right outside our earthly front door? Well, it's not quite as far-fetched as that. According to his own statements, Loeb does not want to issue an alien warning in the classic sense, but rather encourage his colleagues to keep an eye out for the unexpected. And so it is that the majority of experts remain cautious. Extraordinary claims always require extraordinary evidence. And in the case of 3 Eye Atlas, there is simply none. What we do have, however, is the possibility that processes are taking place out there that we simply do not yet understand. 3 Eye Atlas has probably been traveling through interstellar space for millions or even billions of years, exposed to extreme conditions, cosmic radiation, ultraviolet light, temperature fluctuations, and even bombardment by micrometeorites. 
All these influences can trigger chemical reactions or material movements that we are unaware of because we have never observed them in a comet in the solar system. To find out whether this is really plausible, scientists are toying with the idea of conducting laboratory experiments under space conditions in the future. Comet materials will be exposed to extreme temperatures, radiation, and vacuum to see if gas and dust emissions similar to those of 3i Atlas can be reproduced. The goal is to better understand why nickel escapes without iron, why the outflows are so unusual, and why the dust grains scatter light in unexpected ways. This alone shows that 3i Atlas is not just a comet, it's also a kind of natural laboratory that allows us to test existing hypotheses and put previous models to the test. Each new measurement could provide clues as to which processes have so far eluded our research and explain why this interstellar visitor is so different from anything we have ever seen before. And if the subscribe button is also different from anything you've seen before, we're happy to help you get started. Just click on the thumb and subscribe to never miss a new video from us again. See you soon.